The North Atlantic Treaty Organization has substantially increased its defense commitments to the Baltic states. Any action that NATO takes to reinforce the security of the Baltic region would be a responsible defense measure, designed to defend alliance members and not to provoke a war with Russia. The U.S. should lead the way in ensuring that NATO makes additional progress in bolstering the defense of the Baltic states. Though the Baltic states are small, they are key North Atlantic Treaty Organization members and defenders of economic freedom, liberal democracy, and human rights. The Baltic region has both military and political difficulties that NATO needs to fix. They could fix these problems by extending their defense commitments to the Baltic states. The first problem is that the Baltic states are very secluded from the other members of NATO. The second problem is that the Baltic states are so small in size. Even with all of the states combined, they are only about the size of Missouri. And because of the small size, these states can't depend on reactions from other places. The third problem is that they can't reinforce their defenses. Fourth problem is that the North Atlantic Treaty Organization fully depends on non-NATO countries. This is a difficulty because the Baltic states are so far away from NATO. The Baltic states originally joined the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and the European Union list of members that were demanding their removal of the Russian diplomats in April 2021. They wanted to remove them for alleged spying. Ever since Russia added Crimea in 2014, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and the U.S. military have raised their presence in Eastern Europe. With all of the other countries in mind, NATO, the Baltic States, and Russia have all modified their positions in small but important ways in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization.